Hello everyone, this is Miss Lina Ode and this is English Grade 10, uh, Week 13. Uh, it starts on November 26th and then on November 30th, so let's uh, start. On November 26th, we're going to continue with the tragedy Othello by Shakespeare, Act 2, Scene 1. The objectives are read and comprehend the acts and scenes in the play and then analyze the techniques used in the play. Here are some key terms that I assume that you have already uh, got, uh, gotten familiarized yourselves with. Uh, here are some tutorials which will help you better understand uh, the, uh, the act and the, the and the scene. And attached, you're going to find an interactive file in which you will, uh, it will help you a lot uh, also in analyzing the events. Another one that has some kind of acting, since it's a drama. And then one theme organizer with the quizzes over here. And then this takes us to on November 27th. On November 27th, we're going to take scene two. And also we're going to have the same, obje uh, the same objectives along with the same key terms that by now you should have them memorized. And then we have act two, scene two video is explanatory and then this one is illustrate is illustrative uh, and as for one of the activity that is going to be done in the class is character analysis it will also help you in the project how the character introduced and what is our first impression of him or her does the character have to face any challenges and after you read the questions and answer them you're going to be able to analyze the characters better and here are quiz quizzes which will help you a lot As for November 28th, we're going to start with the first punctuation lesson for this year. It's commas. You're going to identify and apply rules for comma usage, find mistakes in comma usage. Some of the key terms, punctuation marks, commas, run on, comma splices, items in a series, independent clauses, coordinating fanboys, introductory words. I myself prefer this lesson a lot because it will help you in grammar and writing. Uh, here is a tutorial over here. That explains commas over here you have also um the fault fault finders which is an activity that is going to be done in the class another tutorial and then over here there is an interactive practice on your ebook which uh, it, which basically demands uh, an access further practice for those who have it hard i've already added the practice for you uh, to practice on and then here is a set of challenging questions and this takes us to November 28th. This is when we basically have um, when we basically have a continuation of the class. You're gonna have also more tutorials. Now we have some uh, other uh, activities that it, that are to be done in the class, and then also ebook because we won't be able to finish with the uses. Here is a further practice with this chameleon. A poster, fun poster, you can create other posters for you to understand better or you can refer to this poster along with some other assessments. And the last day is November 30th, that's when you're going to start working on the first step of the project which, which is choosing the theme to alternate your prologue. In this project, you'll embark on a literary journey to reimagine the opening acts of Shakespeare's Othello, introducing a captivating alternative scenario that diverges from the original plot to create the climax. Your task is to craft a new narrative for Acts 1 and Act 2. That's when you should know what themes that you're going to be using. You're going to reshape the motives of the characters like Iago, or you're going to alter Othello's suspicions. You're going to rewrite re the first two acts in order to lead to a different turn or a different climax. What do I basically need? I want you to present your alternative scenarios in a form of storyboards presented on either posters, websites, or PPTs. That's it for this week. I hope you understand. Uh, I'm going to meet you for next week. Thank you so much.